Okay, well, let's assume um, everything that we've done so far, having run all of the necessary installation for the CUDA development kit, toolkit development, it's uh, done correctly and successfully. So let's just close this. Now let's move on to the installation of TensorFlow. Now we're gonna run, obviously, as you can see here, installation of the GPU is substantially more complex. Um, let's look at the steps here. It requires this, yes, this, and we've done now that typically install a different location. Okay, so let's assume that that's already done. I uh, will know very quickly whether it's done. Okay, yep, we've also done that. So how do you install TensorFlow? Okay, so we are going to install it with Anaconda rather than using the native pip because I have Conda in store here. All right, so here you go. This is the actual um, installation steps for Conda. It is, as state, stated here, is community supported, not officially supported, so just bear that in mind. So you might come across some issues. So before we get to that, so let's just run, um, not that one, so let's just go and run Anaconda Navigator. Move that over here. I'm going to close this. All right, so that is now running. Okay, so what is required of us is to use our root and open up a terminal. Okay, within the terminal, let me just minimize that. It's asking us, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, um, in case you can't remember where it was, go to www.tensorflow.org and then follow the installation and then install underscore windows so you can also use the menu to come to here <coughs> now right now it's uh, python 3.5 that's supported so let's just run that that will create a new environment called tensorflow and then the python version that we're running on is python 3.5 um, the challenge here is that notice that is Visual Studio 2015 and I really hope that that doesn't create any issues because we can't download Visual Studio 2015 anymore unless I have to use some um, I can't get it from the official Microsoft website so I'm gonna have to do it from another source so let's just try this and hope, let's hope that it works if it doesn't work then we might actually have to redo the CUDA Installation. Okay, activate TensorFlow. Okay, now that we've activated, let me just copy and paste the TensorFlow. Okay, so this is pip install uh, using the TensorFlow GPU. Okay, that's done. Notice that it's all successfully installed, so let's just test this, run Python, so import TensorFlow, as TF. That's a good sign. Okay, um, hello, let's go to TensorFlow, constant, hello. So flow. Okay, so let's create a new session. TensorFlow session. Okay, what does it say? Um, GPU, your CPU support instruction. This TensorFlow has not compiled to use. Okay. Found device zero world properties. We have uh, GeForce GTX 1060 major, six minor, one memory clock size, total memory. Okay. 
creating TensorFlow. All right, so looks like it's actually picking up the GPU. That's a good sign. So let's uh, print the session run hello. Okay, good. Uh, looks like um, we've installed the TensorFlow um, successfully. Within the TensorFlow um, instructions, it does show you how to make use of the um, GPU. So we're going to run a simple test here to see how we can actually make use of the GPU. Now a couple of things about the instructions that it does tell you a little bit about your CPU, how it actually designates when you have a slash CPU, uh, colon zero means that that's the fifth CPU. If you have one GPU, it will be GPU zero. If you have a second one, it will be GPU one. When we read this, um, it shows the, let's see, where does it actually show? It's device. Yeah, it's a bit hard to read because this is wrapped around. Let me see if I can wrap around some more. Notice the GPU zero here. So that's, um, it, it is picking up that we have one GPU. Um, it doesn't say anything about the CPU for some reason. So let's see if I open up. Yeah, no. It doesn't actually say anything about that. Okay, that's all right. We'll just leave it at that, and yeah. Um, I'm gonna run some of the codes here uh, to find out which devices your operations are assigned to. You can use the log device. We can create a graph here and then just follow through these instruction and see what happened. Now, when you use a mat mode, it says that um, it will use your GPU will be selected to run the mat because it's a matrix multiplication. So let's just run this. Okay. And let's just create a session and run it. Okay, so let's see what happened here. Session, runtime, create TensorFlow device. Yep, it's port to the device mapping, it says here. Um, gee, this is really hard to read. Device mapping, job local host. Device 0, GeForce 1060, yep, compute capability 6.1, and um, runtime device mapping, okay. And this is the result that comes out. So we have GPU, 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 and then CPU. All right, that's gone successfully, so that's always a good sign. That's really what I wanted to test, uh, whether the GPU is being utilized or not, and it seems like we have installed it successfully. Uh, the next thing to do is move on to installation of Keras. Okay, so this is the last session. We've successfully installed CUDA uh, to run the GPU so that TensorFlow can make use of it. Uh, we've installed TensorFlow successfully. Uh, in this session, we're going to install Keras. Uh, with the installation of Keras, let's look at the documentation. Um, just go to installation. Uh, the requirement is that you have the TensorFlow successfully installed. Uh, you do need to install these first or get these. Um, these are optional dependencies. And um, now, this is actually what you use to um, install Keras. Uh, I'm gonna make an attempt here to just um, Conda install Keras. And let's see if Conda does actually have Keras um, pre-prepped. Looks like it's, it is there. Uh, there isn't much issue, so let's just run this. Okay, so that's done. So let's just run our Python and let's see if it works by importing Keras. Okay, yes, um, when you actually get a sign here that says using TensorFlow backend and there's no issue with that, it means that it is running successfully. So let me just quit this and close this all together. Yeah, we 
do one worry about this for now. We're gonna run from within the navigator. Yeah, we don't want that for now. Um, well, we do need to actually set up our notebook. So let's just uh, have the notebook set up. So Jupyter not install Jupyter, yes. Right, so let's just install this. Okay, so this has run successfully, so that's a good sign. Now we just need to run um, our notebook. Okay, let's just, um, just start a new one. Okay, so let's just um, import Keras and then Keras version and run it and see. Alright, so that's gone through successfully. Um, let's just quickly run an example. I'm just going to copy some codes here. build a model and run the compile code as well as training the images and finally we're going to run the fit and see that's done okay that's finished so let's just run and evaluate Okay, so looks like everything is working well now. Um, that's always a good sign. That's really what I wanted to do uh, to make sure that all is working okay. And uh, looks like um, we have successfully installed the TensorFlow as well as Keras. And that's really the steps that I want to illustrate. Hopefully this helps you. It's a rather complex process. It can be quite tricky. This is obviously one of the many ways you can install, install this. I just wanted to show you as a rough guide how I have installed it on my system and uh, hopefully that will be useful and helpful for you. Thank you.